Hello, good afternoon, my beautiful students. How are you today? I hope that you are pretty, pretty fine. <laughs> Welcome one more time from these two weeks of vacations. I hope that you really have had a very good, good time. <laughs> well, we are going to start with the class for today. Well, actually, on this Tuesday, we are going to be having our class where we are going to be talking about uh, future and other tenses. But let me explain it a little bit if you don't have the opportunity to be today uh, in our class. <laughs> okay, today we are not going to be talking about um, speaking activities because we are going to be having those in our class by Zoom. But the next class, indeed, we are going to be touching those activities in order that you can be practicing. Well, let's, let's start with this that I have here for you. Let me open it and exhale it. Here we go. This is going to be super easy and super fast. Very good. It is opening, 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 opening. Excellent. Here it is. Okay, my very fun students, let's start with all the things that we have for today. We are going to be watching some videos. Maybe we are going to be practicing our listening skills. Yes, indeed, we are going to be speaking, but today we are going to be practicing and practicing a lot with these topics that are the ones for your intermediate level. Maybe at the beginning you can say, oh my goodness, teacher, I already know those topics. Yes, maybe I know. But let me tell you that we are, to, um, we are having some books where from m and &M and different other uh, books, uh, the frame, the international framework, where we need to touch these topics. Okay, that's the reason why we are going to be making some emphasis on this, but also we are going to be talking about reporter speech, also the conditionals, passive voice, active voice, and so on. That's the reason why we are going to start with this. And here we go. One, two, one, two, three. Let me show you. First of all, welcome to your English class. I have been missing you a lot. So, obviously, I would like to know how you are today, but you, we are going to be having the opportunity to be talking about this during our classes. <laughs> So let's start with this surprise, surprise. What is going to be this topic? Uh, this is going to be super easy, okay? Because we are going to be talking about future, future, but they already know future means, yes, I know, but we are going to be comparing different kind of futures. Let me show you why. Okay, so here we were. So let's start first of all with will. We already know when, how, and why <laughs> we are going to be using will, right? Yes or no? Okay, remember that this tiny, tiny, tiny word is going to be helping me in order to transform or convert everything into future. But we are going to be having different, different, different kind of futures. So if we are going to be making use of this wheel, first of all, we need to be experts knowing when, why, and how we are going to be using this wheel, okay? So wheel for future expresses a spontaneous decision an assumption with regard to the future or an action in the future that cannot be influenced. <gasps> Wait, what, miss? What are you talking about? What is will or what? I 
thought that we was going to be only for future and that's it. Yes, my dear, indeed. But it is important that you know that we are going to be using future uh, will with these ones. Okay, when we are going to be using will, uh, here we are. First of all, we are going to be making use of will in future when we are going to be talking about a spontaneous decision, okay? There you have an exam example, for example, oh, wait, I will help you, don't do that. Wait, 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 don't do that. I'm going to do that for you. Wait, don't worry, I will help you to clean the house. Hey, wait, I will help you washing the dishes. Ah, oh, it is something that you are deciding in this minute, like this. Ah, I can be reading a book and suddenly I can see that somebody is having a trouble or a situation and I offer my help but in a spontaneous way, for example, oh, oh, be careful, no, 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 don't worry. I will, uh, I don't know, I will paint the house for you. Don't try to do that, okay. It is something that I'm just deciding right in this minute, okay? It is something that was not planned, but that happens like suddenly, okay? Like, oh my goodness, I'm here doing another thing. And suddenly uh, I can see that somebody needs my help or that I can do something in this right moment. So I'm going to offer my help or I'm going to take this decision in this time, okay? So I'm not thinking a lot about that. Uh, so much, it is something that I decide uh, in a super fast way. That is when we are going to be using will in a spontaneous decision, okay? Uh, here you have your example. Wait, I will help you to do that, don't worry. Oh, something that, that um, I am deciding in this moment. Well, that's one. Another one is when you are going to be giving or expressing your opinion, maybe when you are going to be giving or expressing, expressing hope, uncertainty, or an assumption regarding to the future. What is this? I don't get it, miss. Ah, don't worry. Okay, let me give you this example. Oh he will probably come back tomorrow. Oh, it's a hope that I have. Um, it, it, he will fail the exam. Oh, that is my opinion. That is my assumption. Oh, he has not been studied. He will fail the exam. Huh. It's my opinion, okay? It's my assumption or something, or probably, oh, he's doing a lot of exercise. He will be ready for the match. Well, <laughs> that is my hope. That is my opinion. That is something that is not a pretty certain uh, or an assumption that I have about something or respecting to something in a specific. Well, that was the second one, a spontaneous decision. And when I am going to be giving an opinion, talking about the hopes or uncertainty, or giving some assumptions, I think, I believe that they will be happening. <laughs> also, we are going to be using will when we are going to be making a promise, okay? It has, it, it should be direct or indirect, okay? But, that's the same case you are making a promise. For example, I will not watch TV tonight. <gasps> I'm not saying I promise, but it sounds like a promise. Oh, no, no, don't worry. I will not go out tonight. Oh, my dad or my mom are super happy because I'm, promise, I'm making this promise that I'm not going to go out today. Okay, I cannot even need to say I promise, but I can infer that that's a promise, okay? So when you are giving uh, or making a promise, oh my goodness, you are going to be using will, okay? Also, 
Another, the number four. We are going to be using will when an action in the future cannot be influenced, okay? You cannot do anything in order to change that and the future. For example, up, oh, it will rain to it will rain tomorrow. Oh, it, it will be uh, 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 it will uh, be having a tornado tomorrow. Oh, you cannot influence on that. It's something that is going to be happening. And I'm sorry. Okay, that is the situation. Oh. And also you are going to be making use of will when we start talking about conditionals, but overall in conditional type or kind one. Don't worry. You are going to be talking about the conditionals the next class. Don't, don't worry. So here is how we are going to be using future. Oh my goodness, what Miss? Yes, remember what? for promises, for hopes, for something that is immediately planned, for something that cannot be influenced, for conditionals, for all those situations, you are going to be making use of will, okay? <laughs> Very good. Oh, but I'm going to be giving you some signal words that are going to be helping you so much. For example, oh, in a year, I will travel to Mexico. Uh, tomorrow, I will prepare a delicious dinner. Oh, future. And maybe with will. But we are going to be having another one, the Burman too. For example, I think, I believe, I hope, maybe, probably, perhaps, all those words that are not for sure, but something that you think and feel are going to be for will. Never forget that, okay? If you are going to be using these words, I think, probably, perhaps, I believe, I hope, oh, I wish, and everything that is that comes from your from your mind, from your heart, respect to future, is go, are going to be all these words with will, okay? That is a super tip that I can give it to you. This is going to be super easy because you already know how we are going to be using will. I will play tomorrow with you. I will not or I won't. If I want to say that not, Will I play tomorrow with you? Will it rain tomorrow? Oh my goodness, those are questions. You know how to say that no. The only thing that you have to do is to add no or won't. That is going to be exactly, exactly, exactly the same. And if you want to be talking about the future, will, and only, oh, you are going to be saying goodbye to why I do that. I, in order to have only the uh, double L. That's going to be the structure for future simple or future with verb to be. Oh my goodness, this is super easy. This is a structure and I do really like to show it to you because maybe if you have some situations, you can use these, um, these pictures as a guide. Remember, we are going to be having contractions every single day in English. For example, I will stay in my house or I'll stay in my house. Will stay or I'll stay are going to be exactly the same. She'll stay in Canada. We will stay in London. You will sing opera tomorrow at the bar, right? Oh, they will travel to Canada next, next year. Ah, will and I are going to be exactly the same. But remember that one is 
more formal and the other one is more informal. That is the situation. Remember that if I want to say that no, the only thing that you need to add is will not. Oh, I don't want to be writing will not all the time. Ah, oh, it's okay. Match together these two and you are going to be having want. Want and will not are going to be exactly the same. But as I have been telling you, will not is more formal and want is going to be more informal. Hey, that's the situation. Well, when you are saying that yes and when you are saying that no, till this moment, do you believe that it's a kind of simple this? Well, if that is clear, I think I believe <laughs> we are going to continue with this. Okay, that's for to be. We already know how to create it. Okay, I I think I believe. So, if remember that if you want to create a question or you want to ask a question, the first thing that you need to do is to add will at the beginning. Always, always. Because remember that we are not going to be having two questions marks. We are going to be having only one. And that one is going to be at the end of the question. That's the reason why your will always is going to be at the beginning. You cannot do this L something. No, forget it. Never in your life, please, if you are going to be creating some or if you are going to be asking some questions in future, you need to use will in a complete way, complete, 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 okay? Well, when you want to answer yes, you can use yes, she, well, it's not so normal, but indeed, I believe that you can do it. Yes, you, be. If you are going to, I'm going to be writing it, okay? If you want to uh, answer in a short way, you can say, yes, I'll be, I will do my homework, okay? I'll do my homework, okay? That's a way where you can be using contractions, and your answers, okay, with will. If not, please try to avoid them. Never say, yes, I'll. No, that is not going to be correct, okay? <laughs> you need to answer with, yes, she will, or yes, she will travel, or no, uh, we, uh, she will not, or, or in this case, no, she won't. Here we can accept this, won't, yes, indeed. But please never use a contraction with affirmative answers. Yes, I'll, no, yes, I'll do my homework. Yes, you'll do your shorts, whatever you want, but it has to be complete because imagine it is going to be a short answer and you are uh, shortering more that, no, that is not possible. But indeed, when you are answering that no, you can use contractions or you cannot use contractions, okay? So remember, yes, I will, short answer, yes, I will travel to, long answer, you can say yes, no, as a super short answer that in the colloquial world, in the colloquial way, in the real life, yes, indeed, we used to, we, we tend to do that. Okay, and that's correct. But remember that if we can speak in English as better as we can, that's super cool. Okay, but yes, the main point is that please, 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 please never answer with yes, she'll, yes, we'll. Oh my goodness, yes, we will complete, or yes, we'll do exercise every day oh well you are making larger that answer okay well that is um everything related to the answers to the questions that I, uh, in future but also i know that you know bird to be <laughs> 
And it is super simple because the only thing that we need to do is to add going to and that's it be going to this is another kind of future that we are going to be using a lot a lot the main idea is that we need to know which one is the difference between these two tenses first of all it is pretty important that you know how to uh firm sentences are how to, and how to use it okay remember i am you are the verb to be conjugated in the normal way she is going to travel to canada my sister is going to have a party i am going to clean my house we are going to study English. Oh, oh my goodness, that's cool, that's great. Remember that we can be changing the personal or object pronouns for uh, with names and that's cool, that's great, that's awesome because you are going to be sounding like more natural and that's the main idea of this. But super, super remember how you are going to be making use of this. Let me clear this, okay, very good. If you want to say that now, the only thing that we are going to be adding is not, I am not or am not, you are not or you are not, or you are not or you're not, or you aren't going to cook or you are not. Here in the in negative, you can be using the contractions that you want almost as you want remembering the rules or minding the rules okay well when are we going to be using will and going to that's one of the most important questions that we are going to be solving will versus going to but what is the difference okay the main differences differences are going to be the following and we do really need to know this because we are going to start talking about other topic that is related with the future but it is super important that we can know all these facts uh, aspect for future with will and going to after uh before to continue with the next topic that is future but with ing Oh my goodness, future with ING. Yes, for sure. I know. So, what is going to be the difference between will and going to? First of all, remember that will is going to be for quick, for rapid decisions. Okay. I'm thirsty. I think I will buy a puzzle. <laughs> I'm thirsty. I I believe I'm going to buy some water. Oh, I'm hot. I'm going to take a bath. I'm, or I'm going to take a shower. I'm hungry. I'm going to buy a chicken. Ah, it's something that you are deciding to do in this moment, okay? Something that is spontaneous. Something that you are thinking about it and deciding in this right moment. In Norbert, in Arden, for example, to solve uh, any kind of um, necessity that you have, okay? So will is going to be for rapid decisions. And also we are going to be offered. For example, when you are offering your help to someone, oh, uh, here you have an example. Oh, that looks heavy. I will help you with it. Don't worry. Oh, that looks dirty i will clean it oh my goodness you are offering your help on that case okay so be careful how you are going to be using will because we are going to believe that you are offering your help to somebody to do something well actually remember will with promises if you are going to be making a promise but in the for the future oh here is where you are going to be using will why because we are not pretty sure about uh, uh the things that we are going to be having for example don't worry i will grow them uh, sorry don't worry i won't tell anyone that was like moving. Don't worry, I will I will not or I won't 
tell anyone. It's a super secret. It's like a promise. Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry. I will take care of your dog. Oh, okay. That is going to be a promise that you are making. And that's where you are going to be using will. Also, we are going to be having the treats. Do you know? Ah, my camera. Do you know where the treat is? I cannot, I cannot. Okay, okay. No puedo mover mi cámara, but it's okay. Well, promises. I know, don't worry. I will do this. Ah, no, 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 no. I'll check that for you. Oh, that's cool. Because those are promises that maybe we are not saying I promise, but you know that that is a promise. Uh, that's where we are going to be using will and going to. Quick and rapid decisions, offers, promises, treats. Oh, if you don't stop, I will tell you mother. If you don't study, I will fail your exam. If you don't hurry up, you will stay here in your house. Ah, those are going to be treats. Positive or negative treats, I'm sorry, but yes, indeed, they are going to be treats. Also, for some refusals, we are going to be using will. She won't listen to anything I say. I won't go to that party. Oh, he will not. Uh, study for her, her his exam. She will not allow those behaviors. He needs to study for their exam. I do. She, he, it, we, and they. That's where we are going to be using will. Okay, but then we are going to be having going to. Eh, and when are we are going to be having going to? Well, going to is going to be, eh, as the name says, going to is going to be. You are going to be using going to when we have a prior plans, okay? When you were thinking a lot about a plan that you have before uh, uh, or thinking about uh, taking or thinking about the decision that was made before the moment of speaking. Okay, what does that mean? Okay, for example, imagine that you have been thinking and thinking and thinking about a special moment where you can uh, ask to your lady if she wants to be your girlfriend, okay? That is going to be an example of going to that you have been planning since a lot of time before uh, or, um, the situations that you are going to be doing or mentioning, okay? That's the difference between will and going to. Will is a rapid decision, a quick decision, a fast decision. I'm going to is the opposite. He has been... Um, thinking and thinking and planning and getting everything in order that they can travel in order that they can do whatever you want depending the plan that they have also we are going to be using going to um when we have evidencers or signs okay when you have an evidence of anything or something you are you are going to be using going to for example when three are signs that when there are signs that something is likely to happen. <laughs> okay, for example, you are going to be using going to when you know, when you have the evidence, when you have the signs that something is going to be happening. For example, my stomach hurts a lot. I, and I think I'm going to throw up. Uh, and I am think I'm going to throw up. Or it's seven. Um, 
it's 70 to zero, they are going to win, okay? It's something that is evident. For example, oh, she has been practicing and fighting. The, the other one cannot win. You have the evidence, you have the signs in order to say we are going to, with will, it is going to different because will, um doesn't have the evidence or the signs it is something more su uh, uh, superficial if i can say it in that way i'm going to is the opposite because you are going to be having the evidence as the sign of everything that happened something that is happening or everything uh, or something that will be happening that is the situation okay but let me tell you that you can use both will and going to in order to make some predictions. For example, I think it will rain tomorrow. Tomorrow, I think it is going to rain tomorrow. Oh, they, they agree on these topics. That's wonderful. Till this moment, I would like to know what answers do you have, what questions do you have with will and going to? Will. For something that is quick, offers, promises, something more inductive. And going to is going to be for something more detective with, with uh, when you have been thinking about it, when you have been planning it, when you have the evidences and the signs, but also if we are going to be talking about predictions, something that will happen or something that go, is going to be happening, we are going to be using both. No, no problem. Hmm. Excellent. That is how we are going to be talking about the verb to be. Okay. Now, let me explain you the rest of this, okay? So, uh, we were saying that will and going to are going to be different because will is like more inductive and going to is more detective, okay? But if you are going to be talking about predictions, will and going to are going to be using almost the same, okay? <laughs> so, here we have, uh, I'm going to give you some examples. Uh, for example, here, no? We are going to be comparing. Are you busy this evening? If I say, I haven't made any plans, I think I will probably watch TV or I'm probably going to watch TV. Ah, it is going to be the same because both are possible, okay? We are predicting something that we are going to be doing, something that is going to be happening. Mm because nothing is planned, okay? You don't have any kind of plan. That's the reason why when you are going to be making some predictions, will and going to are going to be the same, okay? But if I say, yes, I'm going to the movies, only going to is going to be possible. Why? Because you already have a plan, okay? When we are going to be speaking in spoken English, going to is going to be often, often pronounced as gonna. I'm gonna go to the supermarket. I'm gonna watch a movie. I'm gonna sing on the karaoke. It's the same, okay? The pronunciation is not going to be a problem. But here is the situation with the predictions that will and going to are going to be the same when you are predicting, but you don't have any plans. But going to is going to be for um, when you have a prior plan, okay? I think it will rain tomorrow. I think it is going to be tomorrow. It's going to rain tomorrow. You are predicting, okay? You don't have the evidences as a predictions, okay? When you have the evidences, here is when you are going to be using, uh, going to, when you are saying something where you have the evidences. But when you are making some predictions, oh, don't worry, you can be using will and going to. But remember that also when you are having some predictions and you don't have any prior plan, you can use will and going to. But if you have a prior plan, 
you are going to be using we are going to no will okay well super big differences between these two will is going to be used to make predictions but no, with no evidence okay example perhaps it will rain it's just a prediction it's something that i believe is something that i feel in my heart will is going to be used for unplanned actions in the future okay example i will fly to england oh i don't have even a flight ticket i'm thinking i'm dreaming about that okay it, it is something that is unplanned but in the other hand going to is going to be used to make some predictions where we have the evidence for example look at those black clouds it is going to rain oh what is the difference between will and going to that in the first example i'm just saying oh it will rain because i believe it but if I say, oh, but, uh, come on, look at those thunders on those lightnings, it is going to rain. Ah, that is going to be the huge difference. Only for some words, you are going to be using will or you are going to be using going to. That is going to be the difference. Will from pred predictions with no evidence are going to predictions with evidence or sometimes, sometimes with no evidence. Okay, I'm going, I'm going to, it's going to be used in order to indicate or talk about plan actions. For example, I have got a ticket. I'm going to fly in England. Ah, the difference with between will and going to is that will you are saying, oh, I'm going to travel to, I will travel to England. Yes, I, I, I want to do that, but I don't even have the ticket, the money and so on. And if I use going to it because I already have my ticket and I have been planning all this situation, that is going to be the two main differences between will and going to. Okay, so let me tell you that will is used in more situations than, than they're going to, but plans and arrangements, arrangements is something that you have like in your agenda, okay? But plans and arrangements is very popular topic. Uh, so we, are, we need to be sure to practice the uh, going to, for example, for plans and arrangements, something that is for sure, we are going to be having going to. As I have here, will is using more, will is used in more situations than be going to, but for plans and arrangements is a very popular topic. So we need to be sure to practice be going to. The weather and predictions, if you have the evidence, going to. If you don't have the evidence, it is going to be will, okay? For decisions and the moment you are going to be using will. For promises and treats, remember will. For offers, will, and for negotiations, will. Oh my goodness, when I am going to be using going to, when, so, when you have something for sure, okay? When you have something with evidence and will is going to be for the rest of the things. Something that you feel, that you believe, that you want to do for a quick decision, promises, decisions, offers. That's where you are going to be making use of will. Okay, only because I love you. Only because I love you, I'm going to be helping you with this, okay? With will and going to in Spanish in order that you can have the, the main differences, okay? As I was telling you, will is going to be for quick decisions or something that could happen in the future, promises when you are offering help, will, desires, predictions, okay? And going to is going to be for decisions that you have been thinking about about them with a lot of times, plans or intentions that you are going to be having in the future, but where you have your evidence, okay?
In few words, will is going to express future actions that are decided in the moment that you are speaking, immediate decisions. On the other hand, going to no, you are going to be using going to in order to express future plans that have been decided before the moment of the speaking. I mean prior plans. I will have salad and the fish in a restaurant. Oh, you are deciding in this moment and you are saying in this moment. Okay. But if you say, I am going to visit my aunt next Friday, is because that before that you told me that, before you told me your plan, you have decided uh, that situation. You have been thinking about it before that you um, uh, told me. Okay, also will is going to be expressing a prediction that is going to be based on personal opinion or exper experiences, okay, without evidence. And for example, I think United will win the game. That, um, that sentence, that, uh, that prediction that you are making or expressing, it is based on your opinion or in your experience, but you are not going to be having an evidence. In the other hand, if I say, going to look at those black clouds, it is going to rain. Oh, that is my prediction. That is my opinion, but I have an evidence or evidences that are going to be helping me in order to give that opinion or that predictions. Both are going to be for predictions, but um, will it's going to be for predictions based on your experience with no evidences and going to is going to be for predictions where you are going to be having your evidence, okay? Also, if you are going to be using will, you are uh, you will use it when you express a future uh, facts, express a future facts. For example, the sun will rise tomorrow. It's a fact. It's a fact that is going to be happening in the future. Like the first example, uh, yeah, uh, it, it, it will rain tomorrow. Maybe if you have, um, yeah, well, so uh, if that is your opinion, your experience, or it's a fact, oh, you will be using will, okay? Something for sure. And going to is going to be used when you are going to be talking about something that is going to be happening in the future, but in a near, near future. For example, it is about to happen. It is about to happen. For example, get back. The bomb is going to explode. Oh my goodness, get back. The bomb is going to explode. You have the evidence. It's something that is going to be happening. It's, it's evident that in few minutes, in few seconds, it is going to be happening. There is another difference that you are going to be finding between will and going to. That will is going to be talking about future facts. I'm going to, it's going to be used in order to express something that is about to happen. Oh my God, close your eyes. He's going to have an accident. Oh, it is something that is going to be happening because you know it, you are looking at that. Okay, oh, oh, close your ears. This is going to explode. Somebody's going to scream. Oh, you already know it. Okay, because you are looking at uh, looking at that. Okay, it's something that is about to happen. Um, also, as I was telling you, will and going to can be used in order to make future predictions without having a real difference in meaning. But yes, indeed, they are going to be having like a small one. For example, I think it will be foggy tomorrow. I think it is going to be foggy tomorrow. They are going to be pretty similar, but going to is always like having more, more uh, certainly for sure, something like that. You, you have like more evidences about that. Uh, well, that is going to be will and going to. <laughs> what questions do you want any situation? Well, 
let me explain you something else that we are going to be having. Now that we know that we have will and going to and which ones are going to be the differences between all these ones, let me tell you that we are going to be having also future continuous. Ah, future continuous means what is that? Oh, it is going to be amazing because you already know what is the continuous tenses. And it is going to be when you use the verb to be plus ing, okay? What are we going, when are we going to be using this? Okay, here I'm, I'm, I'm going to be showing you here. For example, I will be singing in the concert tomorrow. Oh, I will not be singing in the concert tomorrow. Will you be singing in the concert tomorrow? Ah, as you can see, this is going to be super easy, it's will. It's future, yes, only with B and ING. But Miss, when am I going to be using all these, um, all these future continuous things? Well, first of all, if you want to talk about or describe interrupted actions in the future, <gasps> interrupted actions in the future, Miss, what is that? Eh. Here you have some examples. When you come tomorrow, they will be playing tennis. Oh, it is going to be happening something tomorrow. And maybe it is that situation is going to be interrupted or you are going to be interrupting that situation. For example, when you, uh, when you knock tomorrow to the door, my father will be opening the door. Ah! Okay, it is something that is going to be interrupted. When you call her tomorrow, his mom is going to be answering. Oh my goodness, you were going to be doing something in the future, but another action is going to be happening that is going to be interrupting that situation. Ooh, that's when you are you going to be using will. Also, we are going to be using this uh, when you want to express uh, some actions in progress and a specific time in the future. Oh my goodness, what is that? I don't understand. Ah, well, there. look at me. This is super easy. Here you have the example. At 12 o'clock tomorrow, we will be having lunch at the school. It is when you are going to be doing something in a very, very, very specific moment in the future. At nine o'clock, I will be sleeping tomorrow. Please don't call me. Ah, you are telling me that something is going to be happening in the future in a very, very specific moment. That's when you are going to be using will. Will be ing. Also, if you want to refer to some actions that are happening now and that are going to be continuing in the future, you are going to be using will. Will be go ing. For example, oh, unfortunately, sea levels will still be rising in 20 years. Oh my goodness. It is something that is not going to be stopping. Or for example, unfortunately, you will be studying 10 more years. And after that, you will continue studying in order to know more things about life. <gasps> Oh my goodness, it is something that you are expecting that continues in the future. Or for example, oh, uh, she will be singing during the whole day. It is something that you are expecting that will be uh, that is going to be happening during the future. Maybe it's something that is not going to stop till a specific moment. That's where you are going to be making use of future with will and ing. Well, another way that where you are going to be using will and going uh, will be ing. 
If you want to ask some questions in a politely way about the future, you are going to be using will. For example, will you be bringing your friends to the party tonight? <gasps> it is something that is going to be happening in the future, but you want to look or you want to sound pretty pol polite. Will you be helping me to prepare the, the dinner tonight? Ah! Instead of saying, are you going to be helping me? You used to say, will you be helping me to do this? Oh, maybe for us, it's like, what's the matter? It's, a, oh, it's the same for us. Well, maybe for us that we are speaking in English, but in the United States, in Canada, in Great Britain and so on, when you use will be ing, it is going to be like, it is going to be like uh, soft, into the conversation okay it is going to be like more polite will well also if you want to emphasize something in the future you are going to be using will oh he will be coming to visit us next week ah you are emphasizing oh he will be winning the prize in the contest you are emphasizing oh he will be having 10 in their exams during the next semester you are emphasizing something in the future that's where you are going to be using will be ing also if you want to describe an atmosphere you are going to be using ing for example when i arrive to the party everybody will be celebrating and so will be dancing what is that you are going to be describing something that is going to be happening in a specific moment or in a specific place for example oh when the when when the backstreet boys arrive everybody's go will be waiting for them and will be uh, i don't know cleaning the tables in order to will uh, in order that they could be receiving them uh, uh for the concert no that's when you are going to be using will be in uh, Okay, and finally, if you want to express some parallel actions of serials of parallel actions in the future. Oh my goodness, Miss, I don't understand what is that. Yes, wait a minute. For example, she will be watching TV and he will be cooking dinner. I mean, two things that are going to be happening at the same moment. Oh, he will be cleaning the house and she will be cooking. Uh, uh, I don't know, my brother will be walking on the park and I will be watching TV in my house. Oh, two parallel actions that are going to be happening in the future. For that, it's when you are going to be using will, uh, will be ing. Oh, oh, easy or difficult? What do you think? Indeed, we are going to be practicing with this. Here you have more examples about this future progressive. Ah, the same that I was telling you. Actions in progress at the say at a uh, time in the future. Okay, something that it will be happening and that and it is going to be interrupted. Okay. Oh parallel actions the same that i was telling you i will be watching tv while they will be dancing or they while they will be having a party interrupted actions in the future for example i will be waiting for you when you arrive tonight oh you were going to be doing something, but suddenly it was interrupted for other situation. In order to describe the atmosphere uh, uh, in the future, something that you are imagining. Ah, oh, when I get married, I will be entering to the church and everybody will be clapping and the groom will be waiting for me with a flower in his, ha in his hand. <laughs> You are describing an atmosphere there, okay? If you are going to be emphasizing future plans and intentions, okay, you are going to be using this. They will be coming to visiting. They will be coming to visit us next month. Oh, they will be 
uh, having, uh, they will be having a baby in nine months. Oh, you are emphasizing something that is going to be happening. Hmm. So that is future progressive, okay? I cannot tell you, oh, future progressive is only for this. No, the structure as you can see is super, uh, super easy. Future continuous or future continuous tense is going to be the same. Will be plus ing. I will be singing in the concert tomorrow. Something that it is going to be happening in a specific time. Okay, when we are going to be using actions in progress, progress at, at time in the future, the same that I was telling you, interrupted actions in the future or parallel actions in the future, also when you are describing an atmosphere, okay? But the grammatical structure is going to be this. I will be singing, I will not be singing, will I be singing the same? that every every uh, every tense okay so don't worry will it's going to be almost the will what with some specific situations but the grammatical structure is going to be exactly exactly um the same where is future continues well let me explain you here you have i was dancing uh, that past progressive or past continuous. I am dancing now in this moment, or I will be dancing in a specific time in the future is where we are going to be making use of this will. This time tomorrow or this time next week, so what? At nine tomorrow, at 10 next Tuesday, in two weeks, in five years, and so on. Okay, for future plans and arrangements, exactly what I was, uh, the, what I was telling you, we will be coming next week. Vendremos la próxima semana. We'll be leaving tomorrow at eight. It's something that will be happening in the future in a specific time. Ah, but I wouldn't want to continue with the next one because it is going to be the topic that we are going to be having for our next class when we are going to be comparing this future with future um, present continuous. When we need to use that, uh, it's a surprise, but it is going to be super useful. <laughs> Beautiful students, please let me know if you have any question, if I am speaking a lot of English or uh, if I need to speak more in Spanish, let me let me know and I promise that I'm going to be helping you, okay? Well, today I was so excited to see you one more time to have the opportunity to to give you this class. Uh, I do really like the topics that we are going to be learning because they are going to be pretty different. I believe, I, I think I'm pretty sure that you are going to be learning a lot, a lot about different, different things. So during this week, you are going to be uh, learning and realizing which are the topics that you are going to be practicing in order to increase our level. Because remember that we want to get a C2 level at least a C1 level, but we are fighting, we are dreaming, we are needing the level C2. <laughs> okay, beautiful students, have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will see you at, uh, at evening, afternoon, now almost night, in order to have our class with you, okay? Thank you very much, have a wonderful, wonderful day. See you soon.